So many people were rooting for you, but it isn't just because people were rooting yeah. for you. You deserve this job, and this is a big job. Are you so excited? I really am, Belinda. I mean, this, I've worked here for a long time, and it's a great place. I love the research. I love creating beautiful gardens for people. I love getting more people interested in horticulture, kids coming here and learning about how plants are important to their lives. Everything about the Arboretum is exciting and interesting to me. Being the director is just like my dream job that I'm just very, very happy. Well, that was seven years ago in 2016 when Peter Moe became the director of the University of Minnesota Arboretum. During his time at the helm, the 65-year-old Minnesota Landscape Arboretum was, saw its first 500,000 visitor attendance year. So half a million people visited it in one year. Of course, it is such a treasure and it just seems to be getting better and better. And uh, Peter Moe, in his 50 years, is one of the reasons it continues to be just a gem in Minnesota. It's so good to have you here. Well, thank you, Belinda. It's, I'm always happy to be on CARE 11 and Grow With Care. I know, it's, we were just chatting. We've been together doing stories for 30 years yeah. because you've been at the Arboretum for 50 years and the beginning of your career is so interesting. Yeah. So we're talking uh, back in 1973, you were with your mom at the Bachelor Buttons Garden Club, just kind of roaming around. You were in college. Tell us about that. Yeah, I, I come out to the Arboretum and no, most boys don't go to garden club tours with their moms, but I thought, why not? I was interested in plants and I saw a crew weeding the daylily beds and I walked up to the supervisor and said do you ever have any job openings and he said to me well you know somebody's quitting today can you start tomorrow morning <laughs> <laughs> so to you so at that point in time in yeah. 1973 there were no buildings there that's amazing to me and you started basically weeding there <laughs> back in the 70s so talk about what, when it comes to buildings itself, what has happened at the Arboretum? Well, the Arboretum started with these tremendous tree collections that of course are still there. And then the visitors kept coming more and more. We needed a visitor center building. So we built the Snyder building first, named after our first director. I actually moved the furniture into the director's office of the Snyder building <laughs> of course in, you did. in 74. I had no idea that would be my office. <laughs> but anyway, that built was a, it's still a great building with the library, everything was there. Education, gift store, restaurant, everything. We all grew that building because there were so many people coming out to the Arboretum. We built the Oswald Visitor Center in 2005. Which is beautiful. And big classrooms. We do workshops and conferences, beautiful restaurant, all the things that are part of that. And at the same time we were doing these visitor facilities, we built a children's learning center building with so many school kids coming out. And it's so important for kids to learn how important plants are to their lives. Yes. Everything, every group of kids is working with live plants and learning science, but, but doing it in a fun way. And so yeah. they remember it and they, they get engaged. So we built a learning center building. And then we built the Bee, the Bee and Pollinator Discovery Center, which also, that's actually for families. What all of us can do to make better habitat for bees and pollinators in our own yard. If you live in an apartment, put some flowers out on your deck, you know, yep. on your balcony, anything you can do. And, we and then, of course, that. right next door was that barn that was always there, but yeah. that was a big thing during your time. And the farm itself, right? That's right. The barn we used for storage, it was just full of junk. And the, we had talked for years about, we're part of CFAN, so College of Food, Agricultural, Natural Resource Sciences, but we were never talking about field crops or food beyond fruit and vegetables. It's always been our thing. And so we said, let's work with the whole college at the university and show people how the university oh, is developing healthy food, growing more food on the same amount of land so we're not plowing up prairies and cutting forests. And making it all interpreted to people how their food is grown. People are separated from agriculture. Well, this is an agricultural state, so it's really yeah. important to show them that, and that's what you can learn at the farm, which is, of course, where the barn and the bee center is. Yeah. Just amazing. And then to get around this beautiful place, there are so yeah. many gorgeous roads and a brand new bike trail that, that was in your time as well that was really important to you. That's right, because uh, we want everybody to come to the Arboretum, and it's ideally, if you live close enough, on your bike or on foot, that we don't need to make as many parking spaces, and the whole Arboretum is accessible. We have a three mile walk that's all 5% slopes or less. Wheelchairs, strollers, senior citizens, any of us sprain our ankle, it's accessible to everyone. Yep. And the three mile walk connects all the beautiful gardens around the Arboretum. And then now you can actually ride your bike there, which is a big deal. And of yeah. course, there's also going to be a different uh, two entrances, which really matters as well, because there's so many people coming out. We're seeing some spring blooms right now. There, of course, will be tulips any moment that are going to be blooming. And uh, of course, it is such a great place to check out. So we, uh, Congratulate you on your almost this summer. It'll be 50 years. Of course, that is when you retire, and there's yeah. going to be a big event on June 15th. Uh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so we're yeah. going to celebrate, of course, Peter's 50, uh, 50 years along with the Arboretum, yeah. and of course, the gala is, always happens every year. I have a chance to be a part of it, so mm -hmm. tickets are still available. People should come out for that. Absolutely, that's a really 
fun fun way to start the summer. Yeah, well, congratulations. Yeah. I mean, what a storied career and, and you know, a big part of this phenomenal place here in Minnesota, Peter. Well, I feel so lucky to be, have been part of it. I mean, everybody's looking for new trees. We have dozens of different types of trees and all the different plants, and every week something new blooming. That's Arboretum so true. is a great place year-round. Yeah, to check it out. Everything <laughs> is all, uh, you can see, of course, uh, everything is labeled, so you can check it out and learn. And again, at the, the summer, there's going to be, or this weekend and beyond, there's a lot of things going on, the Parade of Blooms and the Gale is on June 15th. It's a Thursday night. We have a great time. We're going to have it at the farm this year again, and we'd love to see you there. So you can get tickets on care11.com and find out more about the Arboretum at that, uh, that place as well. We have a link there with all the details.